Hi. So in this um, example, we're going to take a table of values and find some outputs for F, G, a composition, and then the reverse composition. So the first thing we'll need to do is take a look at by column and fill in by column. So the first column here, it looks like we're missing F composed of G of negative four. So let, let me go ahead and write that out. So we'll have column uh, one. Okay, and what we do know about F and G is that not only are they functions, but they're one-to-one -one functions, meaning that their domain and ranges are unique. So um, if we have something like F composed of G of X, right, and um, that's going to be F of G of X, right, like if I wrote it in function notation, not composition. So if I had F composed of G of the X value negative four, this is F of G of negative four. So I know we could look at the table and just kind of gauge, but I think writing out what the composition to function notation is, is a lot um, smoother to see and clearer to see, right? Because now I see G of negative four and g of negative four is given to us to be nine. So from the table, I have f of g of negative four, which we know is nine. Then we have f of nine, so I go to this f of x and go to where the x is nine. So f of nine is negative four. So here, F composed of G of negative four is negative four. So we're reading off the table, but you know, rewriting from composition to function notation. All right, so column two. Column two has um, this last one here. So G composed of F of two, remember order matters with composition. So here we can write G composed of F of, in this case, two. So this is equal to G of F of two. So what, we look at the inner function first and see F of two. So I go to my F, go where I see an X is two, and then I see that would be nine. So now I get G of F of two, which was from the table nine. Now I can go to G of nine. I go to my function G and go to the X value nine. And I notice that my output is 15. So this means G composed of F of two is equal to 15. All right, so now column three. So column three now, let's see right here, so that's F composed of G of nine. So F composed of G of nine, that would be equal to F of G of nine. And we go to the table and look up the inner function g of nine. So here's g, go to the x where it's nine, and the output is 15. So here we have f of 15. Now I go to my f row and go to where I see an x of 15, and sure enough I have an output of also 15. So f of 15 is 15. So this means f composed of g of nine is 15. Oops, right here. Okay, so column four. 
So for column four, we're missing two. We're missing g of um, 15. So g of 15 is equal to, and then question mark. So this is where the one-to-one -one part comes in. One-to-one -one means that if fun two functions are one-to-one, -one, that means their inverses exist. So if f and g are inverses, Recall what that means, right? That means the X and Y switch. That idea, right, of the if G is the inverse of F, then X and Y switch. If F is the inverse of G, X and Y switch. Like that idea where if it reflects, the graphs reflect across Y equals X, you know, that mirror image. It also means that domain and range switch, right? If all the x's switch, then domain and range switch. So what I would do for this problem is I would go ahead, if this is the case, then this would imply like if g inverse existed of some x value, the output would be 15. So I would need to look for where there's an output of 15 and then be then I could say okay well that means that that is the y value so if I have an output of 15 but remember f and g are inverses so this really means well where does f equal 15 so if I go in these table of values here I notice I have a 15 here, a 15 here, and a 15 here. But which one of it is where f is equal to 15? Not the x, but the output, these tables of values, not the x. Well, I would see f is equal to 15 when x is equal to 15. So this is a funny one because it actually is the same. Here's 15 with 15, right? So f here is equal to 15 when x is 15. So this means that g of 15 will also be equal to 15 because f of 15 is also equal to 15. So x and y switch, but since they're the same, they end up being the same value. But that's what you know you can do for the other examples as well, is that they can switch. Um, you would just if the x, f, and g are inverses, then you can just look up where f is the output of these, and then you have it here. Okay, so. Um, Column four, there's an one more here, so we'll put 15 right here, and then we have one more is G. So I'll, actually, this is one. So the next one would be G composed of F of 15. Well, this means we'll have G of F of 15. F of 15 right, is 15, and g of 15 is also 15, because we just saw that there. I'll put this right here. So this means g composed of f of 15 is 15. And, um, yeah, and I didn't box this. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish the table. All right, I hope that helps.